What's up, YouTube? Um, so, go put gas in my car. The Beast, as my daughter likes to call it, or I like to tell my daughter to call it. But yeah, so we're going to put gas in this thing, and you know that this thing uh, takes a lot of gas. So, oh, let's do this. trip being our favorite rocket ship zooming through the sky it's a mustang anyway let's go make sure the garage door goes down i have a set of rims in there that i'm gonna be putting on my car hopefully sometime soon the reason i haven't put them on is because uh it's because i can't afford tires <laughs> i bought them on St. Patrick's Day or during a St. Patrick's Day uh, sale for AmericanMuscle.com uh, the wheels were normally $250 a piece and Bird had them on sale on St. Patrick's Day on AmericanMuscle.com which if you don't know is a website for Ford Mustangs and Ford F-150s and uh, so they had them on sale for what was it 60 bucks I believe 60 bucks a piece I mean that's a that was a deep discount and they were the wheels that I've always wanted since I bought the car I already knew what wheels I wanted to get and everything and so when I saw them to be honest I still didn't even really have the money to buy all of them but you know I had to put it on credit Put it on credit and uh, bought them. Wife wasn't too happy, uh, but she soon understood after I told her what kind of discount it was. So, therefore, I was out of the uh, out of the woods. I guess you could say. I don't know. But bird. So I always make sure I close the garage when I'm leaving the house, just to make sure, because I have had things stolen out out of the garage before. I mean, they were small things. It wasn't anything of value. I actually have the wheels covered up. They're all still in the box and still wrapped. And uh, I have them all covered. I have it covered with a blanket. It makes it look like a makes it look like a table. So it's not too obvious of what they are. So you know, and that's the reason why I closed my garage door. So there we go. Pulling up to the gas station soon. This gas station. It used to be a, uh, a Conoco. Now it's a mobile. Now I would normally not go to a mobile gas station. The name, not a gas station that moves, I guess. But the gas here is cheaper. I do put Supreme, the highest one that they have, in. Um, and it still works. My car still runs just fine, you know. So I don't have any issues. We got this Camaro right here. Should I park next to the Camaro? No, be kind of like a. Oh, no, that's a lady. She doesn't look like she cares about cars. But whatever. So I'm just gonna go home and park anyway. <laughs> got another Camaro behind me. Of course, this one's red. He has the. Looks like the Z28 wheels on his car, but his car is definitely not a Z28 or whatever. Anyway, um, so just to kind of give you a little bit of information about myself, um, I, I like cars. I love cars, actually. Cars are my thing. Uh, I, unfortunately, am not rich enough to just keep buying cars, although I have bought three, bought three cars in the last three years, or let's just say financed three cars in the last three years. I traded all those cars I traded a car in for each one of them the only car that I've ever owned outright was a 2008 2008 Dodge Caliber black uh, 
I liked that car before. Oh, okay, just cut, cut right in front of me. Anyway, I liked that car before I married my wife, who got me to not like that car because she said it was a bomb car, and I guess I kind of agreed with it. But I had originally gotten that car because I wanted to take friends out, you know, on road trips and stuff. Never did any of that, by the way. Why? Because I never had the money to. Still don't have the money to. But, um, yeah. So, anyway, I had a 2008 Dodge Caliber. Then I bought a, or financed a repossessed 2012 Ford Mustang. It was silver. Um, modified a little bit. Uh, then I traded that in. Well, here's the funny thing. I bought that car. Then I put on pre-order a 2015 Mustang about, I don't know, a few months later when they were kind of announced and when the look of them came out and everything. But I had actually put on pre-order a uh, the EcoBoost. The EcoBoost was the one that I had put on pre-order, uh, put it in black. But then I got impatient and bought a, or financed a 2014 Dodge Charger, the black top edition. And um, actually you can see the video of that on, on my YouTube channel. Uh, I posted that video maybe about two years ago or whatever. And the reason I bought that was because I thought I wanted it. And I did. I really did, actually. And it was a nice car. But, uh, oh, this, I'm going to turn it here. But, um, I had a buddy who had a 2014 Dodge Charger. And he, uh, his wasn't a black top. It was just a normal RT. Mine was an RT as well. Um, and I actually really liked that car. I just really missed the Mustang. Um, I went and I test drove the 2015 Mustang GT and uh, I liked it. I liked it a lot. But I still didn't buy a GT until August of last year which is the car that I'm in now. Um, on each of those cars I think on the 2014 Charger I put down 3000 because of the amount of depreciation in the 2012 Mustang and I put down 3000 on the uh, on this Mustang because of the depreciation of the 2014 Charger. Um, but I'm loving this car. I like it. I like it a lot. My wife doesn't like it too much. Uh, she likes it a little bit more now because I just we just bought her car in November, which was a 2011 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee. She really likes that car. I like that car too, actually. That's one of my favorite SUVs, but she really likes that car. Really likes that car. Uh, I personally don't like her car too much only because it's a, it's kind of a base model. Uh, you know, the it doesn't have a backup camera. It doesn't have Bluetooth. I don't even know why we bought the thing, to be honest with you. I think it was kind of one of those impulse things for her. Um, but yeah, so um, she likes that car. Um, so she kind of stopped getting mad about getting in this car. She she hates getting in this car because it's so, so much smaller, I guess, on the inside. Hey, that's a cockpit, though. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Um, my next car that I really plan on purchasing, hopefully one day, which will be kind of far in the future, uh, is a Corvette, the new body style, uh, the new body style, the, you know, the, uh, Stingrays, you know, um, I don't know if you know, uh, the YouTube channel Street, Street Speed 717, um, this Corvette's nice, I don't, I don't, I'm not a big yellow fan. Um, so, but mine, I, when I get one, it'd probably be the same color as this. Cause, uh, I would like it in black, but the thing about black that I don't like and that everybody who's had a black car before, uh, can attest to is the fact that it's hard to clean <laughs> or hard to keep clean. Really. And when it's clean, it's perfect. It's beautiful. But, um, yeah, I just don't like keeping up with it. This car that I have now is the darkest color that they have that's not black that uh, the Mustang has. Um, and it's called Magnetic Metallic. It's essentially a dark gray color. Um, that's the color I would probably get the uh, the Corvette in. Either that or a red. But I would probably I, I like to be a little low profile when it comes to my cars. Um, but I've, 
kind of already spec the car out myself personally uh the, the reason i'm just sitting here by the way is because i'm already in front of my house but because i went and got gas as you guys know you know but um yeah i've kind of already spec that and i guess i kind of tell you about that in the next video just because my wife is probably waiting for me right now because we're about to go buy something off of one of those facebook sites whatever um but yeah so um i guess i'll just uh sign off here and 